me on Friday that it didn't matter what the end result was going to be. You were going to have fun and you are going to go out and enjoy yourself. I imagine this one is a little more enjoyable than the other option. Yeah, I mean, unbelievable result. I think we were dominant from the start. Um, and it doesn't just happen overnight. This is a, cum a cum accumulation of uh, a lot of hard work this season. So what a way to end the year. Um, and what a way to end my career, 17 good years. Uh, 17 years ago, I scored my first national team goal on this field in 2002. So it's been an incredible journey. Uh, you know, a lot of different, uh, different teams, uh, international career, professional career. Um, it's been quite the ride and I'm very grateful. Did you take a moment out there when it was all said and done to just reflect, let it sink in? Um, well, I did. I definitely did some like angels in the um, confetti. That was fun, and I was just kind of looking up at the sky. That was a definitely uh, fun moment. But when there was about five minutes left in the in the match, and I knew that I was likely being subbed out um, any minute any minute to come, um, I was certainly taking in the whole atmosphere. Um, and what a special night! The fans were great. The atmosphere was wonderful. The weather was beautiful. So a real picture perfect and end of everything. No team had ever won the championship on their home turf until next time, <laughs> until you all did. What does that mean to you to do it here in front of your home Yeah, turf? it was really special. I mean, obviously we knew uh, as soon as it was named that we were going to be hosting the final. That this was It was all a possibility, and it was all sort of a, just a dream that we tried to not get get in front of too much because we knew that, it, you know, you want to take it step by step and just get better every week. And uh, Paul Riley, our manager, I think did a really good job kind of keeping people uh, humble and hungry and be performance um, driven not always results driven and I think uh, it really kind of keeps the team churning and, and obviously it, that's showing with the consistency year in and year out. What do you have to say about the soccer fans here in Curry? You've seen them a, a while you know from your days in Carolina. The fans here in Curry. Yeah, it's a soccer-rich community. I think from, you know, the history of, of Anson Dorans leading University of North Carolina for the last 40 years, um, it, it's been established that this is a community that knows soccer, that gets it, that appreciates good, good football. Um, and now to, to have the courage back again after a little bit of a break there without having professional soccer is, uh, I think, perfect. The area deserves it. The people deserve it. And hopefully it's here for a long time to come. Um, I guess I could dream because I dream big and I dream, uh, you know, I dream, uh, I dream and I back it up with hard work. So I don't think this is unbelievable that this has all went the way that it's gone. Um, but listen, it's been, uh, it's been a, a year and a journey that's filled with incredible highs for the most part and some tough times. Um, so it's all, it's not always smooth sailing, but. Um, you know, I wouldn't want it any other way because I think that, like, that's what sport is and that's what life is. You, you kind of go through these incredible uh, peaks and valleys and, and you grow and you do it all together. That's the, that's the beauty of a team sport, too, is being able to, to do it with these wonderful women. So.